Okay. So about circuits. So can you read again how circuits work? Okay, um, ready, go. Um, when a circuit is complete loop with no gaps, electricity can flow around it. We use symbols to present, represent the different parts of the circuit. Okay, and then electricity. And electricity travels through metal wires. Okay, thank you so much, Lee. So it says here how circuits work. Circuits work when, what is that? When there's a complete, what? Loop. Complete no loop gap. with no gaps, yes. Because if there are gaps, then for sure circuits won't work. So make sure that if you want the circuit to work, everything should be completely intact with no gaps, okay? Completely loop, completely protected with no gaps so that electricity can flow around it. So you see here the metal wires, it's covered with metal wires because in this metal wires, the electricity travel here. So we have here, so what is the function of the switch? Ready, go. Electricity only flows around the circuit when the switch closes and is switched on. Once the switch is open, the circuit breaks. Okay, so this one is the switch here. Where's the switch here? Is this the switch? Hmm? What is this? Where's the switch here? Lee, can you tell me? Uh, I think it's... Hmm? Which is open. Okay. So for the switch, okay, let's see if this is the switch. It should be what? Electricity only flows around the circuit when the switch is closed and oh. is switched. Is switched on. Okay, so make sure that it's closed before you turn it on so that the electricity will function. So once the switch is open, the circuit, what? What happened to the circuit? The circuit? The circuit breaks. Great, very good. Now, I want you to read Battery cell. What is the function of battery cell? Battery cell. Batteries are power sources that hold electricity. Electricity can flow around the circuit when we connect it to both ends of the battery. Okay. So batteries, can you imagine the circuit working without the battery, Lee? <laughs> That's so funny, right? It, it's, it's so dumb to think yeah. that circuits will function if you don't put any battery. So batteries are power sources that hold electricity. Electricity can flow around the circuit when we connect it to both ends of a battery. For a circuit to work, since this is just a circuit, it needs a battery. Okay, now light bulbs. What is the function of light bulbs? Light bulbs. Electricity makes the light bulb switch on and light up. Objects in the circuit that need electricity to work are called com components. Okay, so light bulb, the light bulb is what? Electricity makes the light bulb switch on and light up. So objects in a circuit that need electricity to work are called components. So objects in a circuit that need electricity, these are called components. So Circuit, it circuits, they need electricity to work, so they are called components. Light bulbs, what? When the switch is on, it lights up. That's the function of the light bulb, right? Now let's go yeah. to wires. What is the function of wires here? Why are covered in plastic to stop electricity escaping? Okay, so imagine the wires of the circuit. If it is not covered with plastic, what 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 might happen, Lee? What do you think? Uh, I think um, I think the I think uh, electric city. Yeah. 
the electricity escaping. Okay, so the electricity might not function properly. It might escape because there's no cover, right, of the wires. So it would be hard for the electricity to flow. That's why it needs wires to protect it, okay, to protect the electricity from escaping. And what is crocodile clips, this one? Crocodile clips, what is the function of this? Crocodile clips connect circuit wires to objects. Okay, so the function of crocodile clips is they connect circuit wires to objects. So see this one, okay? The wires are here and it it was connected here, this this object here. I'm not so sure what is that, but that is the function of the, cro the crocodile clips. So from the word clips, this is used, this one, crocodile clips, this tool is used to clip or to connect circuit wires to objects. Okay, they are crocodile clips, this one, color green. Now, the flow of electricity, can you please read? Ready, go. The flow of electricity around the circuit is called the current. Okay. So if you see the circuit having the electricity flowing around the circuit, you can call it as current. Okay, the current is now on. The current is working. Okay. So electricity flowing around the circuit is called, what is that again? It's called? Current. Current. Very good. And what do you mean by circuit boards? Circuit boards. Computers have tiny boards in them called circuit boards. Circuit boards have lots of wires connected up to tiny components to make the computer work. Okay. So if you are an electrician or you're an expert of fixing technologies, if this is your major, you will be very. Um, familiar with this. So you see here, you can see the tiny part, tiny, not tiny particles. You can see the tiny boards here. You see it? Okay. The small parts here. Okay. The tiny boards here. They are called circuit boards and they, they are very important because I was looking at some some I, some electricians in YouTube and I always see them fixing circuit boards or are or, or in a computer board. They open the computer and they fix something, especially I can notice these tiny boards here. I don't know what is that, but now it makes sense. <laughs> Thank you for this last one. So circuit boards, they have lots of wires connected. You see there are wires there. Okay, and there ha they have lots of wires connected up to tiny components. There are tiny components also there that makes the computer work. That's why if you can notice, in some electricians in videos or you might see it personally they really they really fix these tiny components here because these are circuit boards without them the computer will not work because circuit boards are connected with wires they are tiny components that help computers work okay so now let's go to climate change okay climate change. Can you please read? Ready, go. Climate is the is the average average weather for an area. The way we live is changing the earth the earth climate. It is becoming warmer. This change is causing extreme weather conditions such as long periods of little rainfall, cold drops, and huge storms. Many countries are now trying to stop climate change. Okay, so this is the, 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 how will I say this? This is, this has been always the problem of our world today, Lee, climate change. Okay, so what, what is the cause of this climate change in our, universe or in in the world particularly so it says here this change this climate change is causing extreme weather conditions that's why we experience little rainfall droughts and huge storms and many countries are now trying to stop this problem can you please read this more than ready go more than 38 million people are at 39 
Yeah, <laughs> billion tons. And 35 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide is released every year. Okay, so there are more than 39 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide is released every year. Imagine. Where where was the 39 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide comes from? Can you just imagine how huge that amount of carbon dioxide is every year? And once it's um it's thrown in our world, what 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 can you imagine? It's a great um disaster, or let's just say um um natural disaster, right? So what might be the cause of climate change, Lee? What is the cause of climate change? Why is this happening in our world? How can we prevent it? Okay, you read. What is the cause? I think the uh, the cause power stations, uh, factories mm. and cars pump. Uh, gigantic, gigantic, gigantic amount of the gas carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. These gas act like a blanket, trapping the sun's heat and warming our planet. Okay, so here it goes. Now we know the reason why. Power stations, factories, cars pump, gigantic amounts of gas carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So meaning to say, we people or we humans are the greatest contributor why climate change is happening in our world today because you see traffic the the um, the, the gases or smoke that were blown from the cars of people factories you know these are causing our atmosphere to experience climate change this gas this gas is like a blanket. Imagine Lee, this gas is like a blanket and it traps the sun's heat. That's why when the heat of the sun is trapped, then it will warm our planet and it will cause different natural disasters. So exhaust fumes, you see this one, road traffic. You see the smokes here? The exhaust fumes from road traffic. This is one of the biggest causes of climate change. So how is the climate changing? Can you please read? Climate change is making our summers hotter. Floods, drought, and powerful storms are becoming more common. The ice whole part of the world is melting, which is making sea levels rise. Okay, so climate change is making our summers hotter. So when you experience um, increased, uh, no, um, a great or intense heat during the summertime. That means to say it's the climate change is really occurring. Floods, droughts, and powerful storms are becoming more common because of climate change. Now the ice in cold parts of the world is melting also, which is making sea levels rise. So extreme release of carbon dioxide because of what we humans are doing really affects the the world okay so it affects our condition it affects the condition of our our weather right so that's very disastrous so what can we do with it what can we do with it okay goalie we need what to, can we do we to need, prevent or to let's just say to stop this we need to we need I'm to happy. reduce the amount of fuels we burn that release carbon dioxide Hmm. We can do this by using sources of energy that do not produce pro produce carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Hmm. such as sunlight, wind, and water. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Uh, can you continue this one? Um, solar panels make energy from sunlight and do not release harmful gases. That's so good. So what can we do humans to prevent climate change or to stop climate change occurring in our in our world today? So we need to reduce the amount of fuels we burn that release carbon dioxide. So we can do this by using sources of energy that do not produce carbon dioxide, such as sunlight, wind and water, right? And solar panels also, they make energy from sunlight and they do not release harmful gases. What do you think is, we have mentioned about cars, factories, power stations. What do you think are more um, examples of 
instances that or activities that we humans do that contributes to climate change. Can you give some example, Lee? Well, I think people uh, use um, electric car. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, very good. And what about burning? Burning something? Do you think it can affect? climate change? Can it produce carbon dioxide? Mm, I think uh, um, use uh, resource as source energy mm -hmm. mm, such as wind and water. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. So, you know, this electric um, advancement or technological advancement we have in our world. The advantage of that is if we are not too careful in using that, it can also affect our society or our weather condition, our universe, okay, the, the condition of our world. It can it can result to climate change, climate change. So what do you think, Lee? If if we are the ones responsible of our, of our world, like this climate change, if we are just responsible, do you think there will be climate change? If humans are just responsible enough to like what we mentioned here, if we just stop burning something that releases carbon dioxide, if we just stop, if we just, you know, use sources of energy, instead of producing carbon dioxides what do you think lee um, i think um, uh, i think uh, so if if humans are just responsible with in taking care of our our you know our climate condition do you think there will be climate change uh yes i think that is our responsibility hmm that's true so it's our responsibility if if we don't know how to take care of this world that we are living then how can this world take care of us so you know it, it is just like this. If you're hurting someone, it comes back to you. It's like a karma also. <laughs> no, no, this is my own opinion. Like the principle is like, what, like, how will I say this? this? There is also a rule that what you do, what you do to others, it will also, it will also comes back to you. You know, what goes around comes back around. If you are not taking care of, you know, our, our world, our, our climate, if we are not taking care of our environment, then it will come, it will fall back onto us. What will happen? If we don't take care of the world that we are living, then it will not take care of us also. If we are very irresponsible, then it will come, comes back onto us. In what way? So there will be, fall, uh, there will be storms because humans are irresponsible. There will be, what else? There will be floods. Oh. There will be drought. And you, you can add, Lee, what, what, what do you think will happen? Um, I think the, the earth will become worse and mm, that's true. We did them as this. So what can you say, Lee? What is your message to those um, teenagers like you who are, you know, still, let's just say they are still not so concerned of or mature enough to take care of the environment that they are living. You know, they just exist and that's all. They don't care. What can you say to them? Uh, I, I say... Um, I think I can say... Um, we have a responsibility to protect mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. and, Very good. And? And, 
uh, um, protect our health. Very good. I like that answer so much. I will give you a power of 10. Okay, power of 10. Ding! That's very good. I like that answer. Because if you are okay, taking you. care of your environment, you're, it's, it's best to say in a simpler sense that you are taking care of your health. Because once you're not taking care of your environment, you are also not taking care of your health. Because what will happen? Okay, there are release, uh, in great release of carbon dioxide. Then people will get sick. Okay, so that's that's the best answer. If you take care of the environment you are living, then you will be healthy. You will be free from diseases. That's it. Because what happens to our world is the result of what we are doing in this world that we are living. Right? Am I right, Lee? That's so good. Yeah. So we will um, continue. For the next class, we will be talking about clocks. But for now, we will just um, stay in this topic. So for, for like, OK, in cities, you know, like comparing from provinces or towns or remote areas where there are no buildings or there are no manufacturers there are no such establishments so they are free from factories power stations they don't have like this right when it's a small town but but the people if the people are still doing such you know activities that that releases carbon dioxide making the the our sunlight be trapped by it, then it's still a problem. It still can it can still cause climate change. So, what can you say, Lee? Um, what is what have you observed in in some cities? Okay, like you know, different traffic, right? Congested road, uh, congested yeah, congested roads because it's traffic. Uh, different buildings, establishments, factories that are, you know, releasing too much carbon dioxide in the world, in our environment. So what can, what, what have you observed in cities and in provinces? Mm, I think... Uh, are you uh, living in the city? Oh, uh, yes. Mm, what have you observed? Mm. Just, just imagine this scenario. Hmm? Traffic and there are exhaust fumes from road traffic which is the biggest cause of climate change. Observing the, the city itself. So it's what have you observed? Mm, just an observation. Have a lot of um, vehicles. Mm, that's true. Um, um, there are lots of vehicles, that's for sure. And what else, Lee? Okay, we only have, it's already time. I will just let you share a little point and we'll end the class. And, and what else? Please? And smoke will be the release from those vehicles. That's true. Smokes yeah. are released. Mm -hmm. Smokes are released from that vehicles. And it's really, you know, it's really releasing strong amount of gas like carbon dioxide. So that's, that's really dangerous. So. But how can you avoid it? <laughs> but this is a strong and long, broad topic. Thank you so much, Lee, for your participation. It's already time. For our next lesson, we will be talking about clocks. OK, so please yeah. study this one in advance. Do you have any question? I don't have a question. That's good. Thank you, Lee. I hope you, you will have a good night to rest. Bye bye. This is Teacher Mary signing off. Thank you. Have bye. a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good job.